Hey everybody, I am back with another celebrity. We're going to take a look at Oprah. I had put her picture on the community post, so please be checking out for the community post. And um, you guys have put some questions on there that you wanted me to check into, so I have those energies here. We're going to be looking into her true intentions of the schools in Africa. We're going to be looking at her decision or choice or thoughts in becoming the president or running for president. We also going to look at how she feels about Beyonce, Ellen, Obama, and the Kardashians. So as I meditated for this these messages, it was pretty open, it was pretty clear her intentions for building these schools and creating these schools was because of the situation that is going on there, the brokenness not being able to get the same offers as everyone else, people that have abandoned them when it comes to education, when it comes to growth, when it comes to future and goals and careers. Um, she saw the brokenness and she saw the unfairness and she saw that they wasn't being offered what other children were being offered. And, how they were abandoned in the system of education and the heartbreak. True intentions. Yeah. What was the true intention? She truly had intentions on making things great. Yeah, sure did. I do have a tower here when it comes to the school. But the intentions was... Definitely. Got some communication coming in. The intentions was definitely pure. And she definitely wanted to bring those opportunities to those young girls. I got confessions. I got things communicating. I have some trouble there in the school as well. Some things I need to bust out. Burst from the walls. There are some things that's not too clear about what's happening in there. I have this tower here. Pushing and pressing on the walls of the school. So that things can be cleared out. Something needs to come out of there. And they need to move away from certain things that's happening in there. This tower is coming to lay pressure on confusion and things that's not acceptable or righteous. Let's see if we can dig into that a little bit more. What's not clear? What needs to come out? There are some decisions need to be made about the future of the schools, the path. There's also pressure to walk away from the school. To make a decision to reunite and back to the first purpose. Okay. So we know that the intentions are true. We know that some things have shifted in this school. And there is some heavy energy being laid upon the school to become like it used to be. Some type of corruption is here. Something needs to burst out be pushed out. Let's see again. What type of things is going on in the school? It's like they're being advised to walk away if you're not going to do it right. Something not being done right. There's conflict in the school. There's a fight over the school. There is a debate. There is conflict. There is staff. There is a group of people that is fighting with each other about issues in this school. Yeah. There's some issues. There's some meetings. And there are some things that needs to come to light too. This high priest is just standing there. Watching. The behaviors. In and out. Up and down. Being advised and pressed to go back to the original plan. Something has got corrupt along the way. That is the truth. 
there's this powers and it's high powers and leaders in conflict about what actions to take in the school. Yeah, to bring back happiness. Some corruption has got in. This energy of the King of Wands has came in after the intentions and caused something to happen. There's a cluster of things that is going on in the school. And it has not been cleared out. Someone, there's a team that was let in. If I could put this in my own words, she needs to fire her partners and employees. If I can put it in my own words, because it feels like the intentions was true. And I got a group of people that comes in that changes the personality of the school, the intentions, the purpose. And it's towers laying pressure for them to do that. Keeping them in constant conflict. Keeping keeping them from being clear and having clarity in the process so they that they can make a decision to go back to what it used to be. Walking away from issues from before. There's some stuff going on. Let me see. Go back to what? What energy does it need to go back to? It almost feels like a threat. It do. It feels like a threat in the spirit. Like the school is being threatened to go back to the way it used to be, which was peace and understanding and clarity, a clear plan, or else. That's how that feel. Go back to peace. Let's see. What else does it need to go back to? Yeah, peace and serenity and spiritual growth and some kind of way they didn't get away from the true intention. So that's a very good question that you ask. They got away from the purpose. The purpose was to free them and bring opportunity for growth and acknowledge them for value. In some kind of way, we didn't get away from that. Some kind of way. It's not good. Hmm. Okay, so this is where it's at. Let's see with the energies to come. Will this thing be repaired? Yeah, because it kind of feels like, no, it won't. No time too soon. That tower comes in to lay pressure. And this pressure, I feel that this is, if you can look at this as over at the top, and then the group of people that works underneath her. It's a small percentage of people who carries the energy of the high priestess. And it's a larger percentage that don't. And that group that desires to get it back to the true intention, that small group, those are the ones that's being, that's bringing the bigger group up on charges and bringing them to the table and trying to fight for the school's purpose and intention and trying to get it back to this happy place of opportunity and growth and healing and peace. They're fighting. This little group is fighting. So this tower is actually laying upon the whole, the wholeness, the whole group, but it's really just giving power and strength to the smaller group to lay pressure on the larger group which causing conflict for the entire school. We got a larger group of people who want to do something totally different than the intent. How does that happen under her nose? I don't know. I thought about that too. Like, couldn't she just come to the meeting and just make the final decision? Do she side with the larger group? They want to go in a new direction or keep it in this direction 
or do she side with the smaller group, smaller group, that has the true intentions of what she had built? How did it get like this? Where is she inside of this? Energies to come means that they are holding on to this type of school. We're holding on to the new way of doing things. How does she feel about her school? That's the question. Let's see if we can get something on that. How does she feel about this situation? Because it feels like she's not even in the meetings anymore. Like she broke the ground and got her name at the top and maybe she moved away. How does she feel? That's the question. Okay, so let's try that again. How does she feel about the schools? How does she feel about... Let's see. Yeah, I still got her leading it. I still have her connected. I still have her as one with the school. I really do. So this cannot be happening without her knowing. And this is not continually it's not going to go forward without her she's leading this it says i am here i am leading this i am a part of this let's check that again let's check that again okay oh yeah She's leading the school in another direction from what she intended. I kind of got her as like the, I heard the word Pope of the schools. Which we know that she is because she is the owner and the creator and it's her money. And we know that, but this is basically saying I'm also their religion that's how that felt i i'm 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 also their religious leader what was the intent to give them opportunity so that she can be their pope hmm. yeah she's a part of this She's leading this. None of this happened. This is happening under her watch. She is very present with what is happening. She's connected to what is happening. She's leading what is happening. So this group and staff of people who work under her, she is leading them. And they have gotten away from the true purpose and intention. And there's about a group of 30 to 35% that is laying pressure on the staff and her. But it's obvious that she's connected to the other portion because I have her leading them. Yeah, I really do. This is what she's leading. This is how she wants it to be. But I got this religious type feeling over it too. Yeah, I really do. What's the purpose? What does she want? What's the purpose of the school? Oh, that feels the same. Well, then we know the intent. What does she see? Where does she want to go with the school? Where what is the purpose going forward? What is the purpose? What's the purpose of this school? What does she want? What's the plan? Where are we going? What you doing? Wow. Some type of manipulation right there. What's the plans? Where are you going? Hmm. Oh, wow. I'm definitely sure about that one. Maybe the cartwheel. She want to teach them a truth. There's a truth. She wants to give them truth. It's confirmation on the higher fit. 
it's just confirmation that not only does she want to give them the opportunity of education, but she also wants to show them the truth of life. She wants them to get truth. She wants them to become queens. She wants them she wants them to think royalty. And now I see an army. These are her people. She created her own people. Yeah, that's what it feels like. You know, I thought this was very simple. It felt very direct and simple. But now I'm getting under another layer. Because your next question was, will she run for president? And I have her disconnected or not as connected to America. That's a weird thing. I have her don't feel like she's too connected to America, if that makes any sense. That's the first feeling that I got. She's the Pope in Africa. But in America, she's restricted from this type of level of leadership and authority. President is our highest place, right? Here? Well, <laughs> it's really the highest title, but there are powers that's higher than that. I have her as a full blown leader, spiritual leader, religious leader, educational leader, financial leader. I got her as the leader. In Africa, the question, will she run for president? I have her restricted from America. Let's see why. I have a restriction here. That means that we don't even know if she wanted to or didn't want to. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't can't and you can't. Why? Why? Why you can't? Why are you restricted from running for president? You know, I do the political messages and that president and that person in office is usually selected. I know we vote, but it's selected. It's already agreed upon. It's the highest title, but it's not the highest power. Why is she restricted? She cannot create here. She's not allowed to be in this title here. She's restricted from that. She's not allowed. It's really simple. She's not allowed to. No. She has the passion for it too. I see passion, but she's not allowed to. Let's see why she can't create that. Why she can't do that here. Why are you restricted from being a president? Hmm. No. She don't have what it takes. Too much justice will come. She will bring too much balance. She will even out the places that's crooked. They don't want it even. Well, you might be saying, why are you saying they? We're talking about the president. Office. And the president is in charge, and we're talking about her to see if she'll run as a president. And if the answer is the hangman, then it got to be a they. They. They said no. She's going to bring too much balance. She's going to straighten out too many things. She's going to bring too much equality, and that's going to tilt the what? The scale. Yes, she cannot create the formula for the presidency. She does not have what it takes to be the president. She will create too much balance. Let's see again. She will try to make things equal and fair. And we know the world don't work like that. Never has. You can only create balance in your home. Not the world. 
Why would that be a problem if she brought justice? Why would that be a problem? Yeah, that's not what they're looking for. She's not a good candidate. And she must never speak of it again. She definitely desired to. We have the passion here. Why does she want to? We got the passion here. Now we do. First, I didn't even know. It was just like, no, you're restricted. You can't. You cannot create that. No, you cannot. No, you're not selected. You can't be the one because you're going to cause too much balance. You're going to try to fight for this equality and justice. And you're going to come with a Martin Luther King speech. And that's not what we're looking for. She's not a good candidate for them. Who is them? I don't know. The higher powers. She is passionate about becoming the president. Definitely has some passion there. Why would she want to be the president for the world? Seriously, her intentions is good. But the spiritual intentions linked up with politics and the business of things kind of get tainted because that's how I feel in Africa good intentions hooked up with a certain t amount of people different people and the politics game start yeah what she would bring will be too much for them who is them let's see who is they they said they said they be real in the spirit, though. There do be some days in the spirit. <sighs> too much power. This will be too much power for her. They, they again. <laughs> they ain't gonna let her receive all this power. It's too much power. They told her to go do it to her own people. Go where you came from. They stress. She's a stressor for them. <laughs> she causes the higher powers and the days and the thems to be stressed. They're concerned about her power. So, won't say that she's kicked out, but she's been directed to go that way. Like, go over there. Make your world. Not here. So no. She won't be running. And she could never even speak that. This page of wands is in reverse. She can't even be the magician on it. She got a hangman on it. It's like no, no, hell no. Take that over there to Africa. Page of cups in reverse. It's a wrap. Okay. You also want to know how she felt about Beyonce, Ellen, Obama's, Kardashians. Let's see, because I don't know. Beyonce. She feels that she is really a person that can be an asset to herself, which is the world. She has a global type of mindset. She's not really selfish in that area. But she believes that Beyonce is also trapped and not able to be free enough to bring this beautiful balance to the things of the earth and to the things that she's maybe working on. Put it in my own words, I think she is really good. I think that she'd be a great part of my team, but she's still trapped and entangled with her team. She's stuck somewhere else. She'd look at her as being trapped and stuck and not able to go back to true and pure intentions. That's how she viewed her. She got it. She got something special. She will be great to be a part of the world. She will be a great person to be a part of my schools. She will be a great person to be a part of what I'm doing, what I'm working on. She's a great person and a great asset to the planet. 
but she is so trapped and stuck in certain situations and she doesn't see her going back to this pure self. If I can say it in my own terms, she didn't got with them and got crazy. She got with them and got crazy. Yeah. So it's like, wow, she's a good one. Poor baby. That's how that felt. What type of entanglements does she feel has her mind or has her focus? She sees that as weak, mentally weak, entangled in her own place or state, business, life. She feels like she's trapped. She's trapped in a thinking that is not who she used to be. She has a new way of thinking. And she's stuck in that thought. And she's mentally weak. She's not going to be able to do whatever she believes that is good for her to do. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That would be her view. Her energy source. Her good heart. Good gift. Got a great gift. Got a good heart. But she's mentally weak and trapped. She's not going to be able to get back to that purity that she had. Or the mindset that she used to have. So that means she knew her before she got trapped mentally. Um, she had to know her before that. Because her view is like, you used to be mentally strong and capable and able but now you became so mentally stuck and trapped, you would never get back to that person I met. Yeah. So her energy is towards Ellen. Hmm. She knows truths about her. She knows the secrets about her. She's patient with her. She tolerates her. She loves her. They have an understanding. It's something that they share. Maybe it's women. I just heard girls. Maybe it's women. They have a connection. They have secrets that they share. They have private things that they share. They have a knowing about each other and they tolerate each other. And she has love for her. Yeah. Very pure. Let's see what things they know about each other. What is this? They're connected by a knowing. They're connected by some type of understanding, some type of secret, something private, something. They have exposed something to each other. Yeah. They could connect when it comes to destiny and purpose. Or well, this is just Oprah herself. They connect. They could both have issues with a Pisces. And they join together in thought because they dislike this Pisces. Or they join together because they both embrace the Sagittarius. They got something in common. Yeah, they got something in common. Try again. Yeah, they both experience some disappointments and they share a lot with each other. Got a common ground. They work together. <laughs> they got the same destiny and same type of purpose. They share some of the same disappointments and they want the same new beginning, which is to produce. 
to elevate, to grow. Yeah, they share some of the same interests. She has love for her. Okay. Obama. How does she feel about Obama? Mm-hmm. She's connected to him. There's a lot of obligation around it, too. It's almost like she has no choice but to be connected and be like-minded. And this feels like an obligation with him. I don't know why I feel like that. <clears throat> On the outside looking in, looks like they genuinely, genuinely like each other, connect with each other. But it's also this obligation feel. Like, I don't have an option but to connect to him. He's a part of my team. It's different than Ellen. Ellen, I do have love here. Pure love. But when I get to Obama, it kind of feel like we on the same team men- mentally. And also, it feels like that she may be obligated at times to have this connection. Yeah. Yeah, the offering. Yeah, even the Ten of Swords is here. It's an obligation. A partial obligation. I see some true intentions towards Obama. Like, yeah, you're cool, you're beautiful, handsome gentleman, love your style. It has that type of feeling. I connect, we're friendly. But it also has this obligation type feel. Like I have no choice but to offer to him. That's how it feels. We have a meeting of the minds. Let's see. What are you offering? You're helping him with an agenda. She's helping him with an agenda. But she has no choice. There's an obligation for her to help him with some type of agenda. Something. What are you offering? They're in partnership more than friendship. Some type of confusion. There's an agenda of confusion in the families. Confusion. Hmm. <laughs> yeah they working together to get they're working together to bring something that's mentally unclear about happiness or family They offer in an unclear way to get to happiness. <laughs> They're connected. They're here. They have the lovers. But it has this obligation around it. But it's here. Yeah, it's here. But it's not an emotional connection. It's mental. They work together. They're on the same team with the focus of bringing some unclear understanding for the family. Wow, if you say that four times and then you let me speak it my way, this is how I just heard this. Like, hey, he is one of the people that's a part of our group and we are working on an agenda for they so that uh, we can keep these people confused. That's how it sounds. We don't want them to get revelation of who we are and what our true agenda is. Hey, I can't make this up. Kardashians. How does she feel about the Kardashians? Oh, she fight with herself with them. Zero, zero, zero. She 
is not feeling them whatsoever and don't understand how they are even allowed to do what they do. This is pretty much in my own terms, like the person that'll be sitting out with a friend and say, they gonna fall soon. That is gonna break apart. Ain't no way in the world. That's the bad time. Ain't no way in the world it's supposed to be like that. They should be allowed to do what they do. Uh, no. She's just waiting on their fall. That's how it felt. She doesn't even see them stable. She see them as a ticking time bomb that's going to crash. Yeah. Full of burdens. It's like she's awaiting to see that. Yes. That's just like one on her list. Like, girl, just keep your eye on that one. That one is going to fall apart. And I mean that one. I mean all of them. Yeah. So, these are the energies that I have from Miss Oprah. Be looking out for the next post on the community post. I'll be putting another picture up there so you guys can post some questions for me to dig into. And I also have a special right now. Any three questions for $30. It can be personal or celebrity. You can contact me in my email, revealinghp at gmail.com. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.